Uh, I just wanted to add, you, you, you talked about EIA consultants yes. and their, uh, well in Maharashtra and I am sure across, across India there are websites of EIA consultants which very openly and I think innocently, they don't have anything in their minds, they very innocently quote that uh, we will do all the ecological assessments and we will also help the project, project proponent in getting the environment clearances. Uh, it's a part of the deal and they're very innocent and clear no, about it. So. <laughs> no, I was just wondering, unless there are more, any, any, you want to say something? I, my name is Alex Berman, University of Florida. Go ahead. Uh, Germany. <clears throat> and I, this uh, discussion, sorry, I totally lost my voice That's since fine. yesterday. Uh, this discussion about EIA in India are very interesting also from that German point of view because I think what you were just outlining would be so easy to establish but the question is the political will and if you see a environmental impact assessment just as a hurdle for development right it's it's just a hurdle to overcome it has no value in itself and this is the if you still have this thinking on the top level of the political agenda, you, I mean, you can easily outline it and have really nice ideas about how to improve that environmental impact assessment. And it would be really easy to implement, actually. But you need that political will from the top. As You're a matter right. of observation, sir, yeah. uh, this gentleman coming from, a uh, research scholar coming from Germany, should be proud of uh, one aspect. In the 1980s, Fridjof Capra, the, f the, the, the great uh, science writer, f f physicist turned science writer, and uh, Sherlin Spritnak, they have both written a book called uh, Green Politics, in which the, the rise and probably the fall of uh, the Green Party of Germany Federal Republic of Germany was uh, completely uh, given a biography of, and uh, the rise from two two persons in their uh, Bundestag to 87 uh, members in the Bundestag was beautifully enunciated, and uh, how they fought for their environmental betterment. And this gentleman coming from Germany is a, a heartwarming thing. And Germany, for all, all her or his, Germany is a male country, so to say, for, for all his uh, 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 political and other powers, is finding its uh, waters beautifully well kept, like in France. And thanks to Green Party also. The Green Party now has dwindled, and there are there are also feminists in them. They have uh, uh, this a conglomerate of feminists and uh, green issues. Now they are not powerful. Yet uh, at a point of time in the 80s until 97, they were quite powerful, and they resuscitated the importance of keeping their rivers clean. Thank you. Well, you are quite right. You hit the nail on the head. You see, the whole attitude here is. We want development. What is development? Development is industry, high-rise buildings, shopping malls, flyovers, expressways, and so on. And anything that comes in the way is a nuisance. You want to beautify your city, make your Bombay like Shanghai or something like that, and there are people there in the way, remove them. If they are, they are a nuisance, they must be removed. This is the kind of attitude that prevails in the middle class urban India. And they look upon, I, I, in the ministries, all the other ministries regard the Ministry of Environment as a negative ministry. Environmental Clearance, Environment Protection Act, they are all negative. And somehow you must get over it. It's a procedural hurdle. You must somehow, and some, there are experts to tell you how to cross that hurdle. This has been, unfortunately, the difficulty. Though uh, the last environment, the minister, you know, Jaram Ramesh, was trying to activate the ministry, do something. He took one or two very good decisions, but the, he couldn't go very far. But before he could go far, he was moved to some other ministry. So this is the difficulty. And uh, essentially, the, the, in fact, there was a committee. I'm not talking about layman's response. There was a committee of secretaries headed by the Secretary of Economic Affairs, which talked about making clearances easier. Now, clearances ought not to be easier. They ought to take time. They ought to be careful. They ought to be considered. If 
if there is an act which prescribes certain things and if there is deviation from those things, somebody should say no at some stage. How many projects have we said no to? Hardly any. This is the difficulty. But uh, one, one hopes that uh, we were beginning to hope that something will happen when Jairam Ramesh was there, but he's gone. And uh, that ministry has now quietened down. It has gone to sleep. So I don't know what's going to happen. Anyway, I think we've had a good and interesting discussion. I was a little afraid initially that uh, it might prove to be a flop. It wasn't. <laughs> Even though the numbers are small, we've had a reasonably good discussion. The thing, but I expect papers from both of you. Yes. And uh, on that basis, Give thank you. Line. I think, uh, was she talking about lunch or something? I don't yes. know. This. Yes. 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 Okay, thank you very much.